This officer is taking photos of my car. Name and badge number, please. Why are you taking pictures of my car? And he's taking pictures of me. Cop watchers, man, we're watching out for your back. These guys are dirty. We got proof. Can I see this on YouTube? Yeah, man. What happened? Oh, dude, like they just pulled us over saying because our car exhausted the Right. So they're just fucking with you. Anybody on a fourth? Okay. They asked if you could search. Well, you don't have a choice, right? So that doesn't matter. All right. Um, all right. He's been here for a long time, though, huh? motherfuckers are dirty man they just man they go out of their way to mess with people that look like you and I I can my first amendment's there and here though yeah it's all over the place Oh yeah, it's right here. It's all up over the place. Correct. All right. You were being very rude to somebody a moment ago. You need to just not talk to me. I'm a little angry with you. I'm a busy person, man. You drug me out because you're being rude. You just need to stand over there and be quiet. You and I ain't talking. We're not good. No favors to you, man. Shh. Do your job. I'm sorry, guys. We I got a problem with these fellas, you know? They're not the only ones who get to fuck with people.
They got pictures of everybody because they have loud exhaust. It ain't his, maybe he just puts it back.
they used that guy's screwdriver to dismantle this person's car. And then they gave the screwdriver back to him. They walked over to a random white no, guy? they already were chumming it up before. Random white guy, yes. In that truck. Like, you'd think that we pay them enough they have the equipment they need without, like, borrowing so, it from a random person. Right when I got here, Fickett went over and started harassing me. And I saw him. And then saw this guy going to the gas station and he was like, what's up man? And he was chatting. They were being chummy. And then he, who, this guy. Who was this guy that got in the car over here? This one? There was a car parked here. Oh, I don't know who that guy the was. The tall guy? I don't know. Who he that was, was like asking them some random question about paying a ticket or something. Oh. But this guy, Yeah, this looks like a convenient place to ask. I know. Yeah. Yeah. They gave him a business card. This guy was on, he's just a chud that was watching me watching them. And, uh, She asked, is my brother detained still? Is he going to remain detained? And he's like, for now, for now. And then he goes over to that truck and like starts at the back of the truck, opening up the truck, getting the tools out with the other guy. And like the sister's watching and actually recording going, what the hell is going on? We thought he was really, you know, a genius for getting a screwdriver. It's going to take me a minute to process that. I know. Damn it. activity looks like um, four people have been detained three are in vehicles and one is uh, still seated deputies were very frustrated with cameras being here not sure why that is well I'm pretty sure but I'm not sure Right now, four people are detained inside vehicles. There was a citizen report of a gun was found when they did a search of the vehicle. Um, one of the detainees in the back seat said he was pulled over because of a loud exhaust. So far, four people going to jail, loud exhaust. Attach us to the call too. I mean, he just took her pictures and all that. He might as well. The uh, the the larger uh, deputy. deputy. He was really rude. Ran over to her car, took pictures. Went up to her face, took pictures, and then was kind of rude when he talked to her. Uh, we're going to be putting in a complaint, doing a uh, information request for those pictures. I do. Know how to handle it. Respect. Try to be a lot nicer to people. Even people exercising their First Amendment. Don't be rude. 
Don't wave me off. I'm here for a while. Been here before you, be here after you. Please don't be rude to cop watchers. They're here for your safety. I'm here for your safety. Good luck with your safety. Copwatch Imperial Beach would like to thank Deputy Fickett. Although we do not appreciate our civil rights being violated with prior restraint by intimidation under the color of law, nonetheless, we do appreciate the rogue and reckless deputy revealing himself to us. He has been added to the new Transparent 5 tracking system on copwatcher.app. While researching his public information, we discovered that Deputy Fickett is a defendant in an active civil rights lawsuit which has withstood multiple attempts to dismiss the case that started on December 21st in 2019 around 2 a.m. in the morning. The lawsuit reads that the plaintiff's minor son was riding in a car that was stopped at a DUI checkpoint in Imperial Beach on his way home from the movie. Plaintiff's son and his friends were detained because they were minors in public after curfew and the driver wasn't in possession of his driver's license, but he was licensed. Sheriffs called the plaintiff and woke him up and told him to come and retrieve his son from the DUI checkpoint. When he arrived, sheriffs told him that he could not take his son because he did not have a photo identification on his person. He left it at home because it was early in the morning and he was going to rescue his son. Then deputies began to question the plaintiff's son in a threatening, menacing, and accusatory tone. The plaintiff told his son that he did not need to answer any questions. That's when deputies told plaintiff that he was under arrest and placed his hands behind his back. Plaintiff asked why he was being arrested and was told it was because he was interfering with officers. After that, deputy defendants discharged a taser at Mr. Young, striking him in his thigh near his pants pocket, causing a lighter to explode that was in his pocket. Deputy defendants then stomped Mr. Young repeatedly to put the fire out and tackled him to the ground. Deputy defendants discharged a taser again directly into the plaintiff's back. Subsequently, plaintiff was taken to jail first and then rejected, then to the hospital to treat his injuries and burns, then back to jail. Plaintiff's wife was called to retrieve her son. Deputy defendants allowed plaintiff's wife to take plaintiff's son without checking her photo ID. Eventually, Mr. Young was released on bail and the charges against him were subsequently dismissed. In the complaint, plaintiff provides specific facts explaining that he's African American and he was treated differently by officers than his wife, who is not African American. Specifically, plaintiff alleges that officer defendants refused to allow plaintiff to take his son home because he did not have a photo identification, but later allowed his wife to take his son home without checking her identification. These allegations are sufficient to satisfy a second element of plaintiff's Ralph Act claim at the pleading stage. As such, the court declines to dismiss plaintiff's Ralph Act claim, and the case continues. That was filed on December 15th against defendants Deputy Chad Fickett, Joseph Berry, who's a sergeant, Deputy Alejandro Sevilla, Deputy Michael Cruz, Deputy Daniel Gutierrez, and Deputy Claudia Valencia for unlawful arrest, excessive force, false imprisonment, negligence, violation of the Ralph Act and a violation of the Bain Act, which puts their qualified immunity in jeopardy. We'll be sure to also add the lawsuit to the other defendants in the Copwatcher app. Make sure we track them all forever. <laughs>